Just a Thought, a podcast for parents ready to change their mind and change their lives. I'm your host, Christina Stead, and this is Just a Thought, episode 36. What color are you? Hello! I was sitting with my girls and looking through my podcast notes, trying to decide what topic I wanted to talk about today, and it was 100% unanimous that what color are you? sounded the most interesting to them. So it was decided. In case you were wondering how I make up my mind when I'm feeling indecisive about these things, now you know. So I don't know about your life, but my life has been challenging for me, which is the point, I think. We didn't come to Earth for a vacation because generally we don't learn a whole lot on a vacation. We came here to get some learning We came here to be tried, and I think we had a say in the challenges we face. We were intelligences, which means spirits, and to me it also means we were all logic with no experiences. We had the book learning, so to speak, but we didn't know what it was like to have a body and to feel things. I think kind of like Spock from Star Trek. (laughs) Everything seems so easy and logical to him. And I can imagine sitting with God and planning out what box of crayons he was going to give me, so to speak. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I want this color and this color and this color. I want to struggle with that and do that and maybe even have a little of that in my life. And I bet he looked at me and said, "Uh (laughs) uh-huh. All right, Christina, (laughs) let's give you a little of this and a lot less of that, and then go ahead. And so we fast forward to earth life, and I actually have a body now, and I'm like, what did I sign up for? (laughs) But seriously, life for me has been beautiful and wonderful and horrible and all over the place. And it gets easier when I use my agency, and I love God and love those around me. I think it's nice to know when to use thought work and when to just feel what we're feeling and just live, because I think it's important to do both at the different times. I love how Laura D'Andrea from Anchored Motherhood put it in a recent email. She said, my point is, you don't always need to be pushing yourself. Sometimes goals are just silly. Maybe one day I'll be in a place where those goals make me feel good, but not now. Do what works for you. You are perfectly imperfect. You don't need to change anything unless you have stuff in your life that just isn't working for you. You will know this because it will stress you out or make you feel crummy. So today, ask yourself, do I really need this pressure on me? And keep rocking exactly who you are, not chasing a a better version of yourself. End quote. Now, this might seem really obvious to some people, but I seem to have to be reminded of it now and again that we all have very different lives. Ultimately, we all feel the same things at the core, but our experiences are so unique. And I've kind of known this for a while, but I seem to be relearning over and over and over again that comparison is the thief of joy. So it doesn't surprise me that as I look around at others and try to stack my life next to theirs and decide who's doing it best, that I start to feel behind and miserable. It's because comparison is a pendulum of judgment. When we get on that pendulum, we swing from being better than to less than, and better than to less than. There is no happy medium. But when we hop off that mentally and get on a measurement of progression instead, where we view others where they have been and where they are and where we have been and where we are, not next to each other, but all in their own little box, all holding on to their own little steering wheels. It makes life a whole lot more doable and a lot more fun, in my opinion. And when we really want to enjoy life, the key is gratitude. Gratitude for the box of crayons God gave us, for the colors he gave us that are intended by him to be a different color than our neighbor's. And he wants us to draw with our color. He wants us to use it. So 
If you're a parent that loves to go on walks, but doesn't like to play games, that's your color. You might be more of a yellow than a purple, and that's what God intended. Or maybe you're a parent who gets really depressed, or has health challenges, or who feels like you always fail your family. Perhaps you're more of a black color. Black is an important contrast color. A lot can be learned from the color black. You might be able to teach your children how you're learning to take care of you as you deal with health challenges and learn to thrive instead of survive. Or you might teach your children how to apologize when you get angry and don't show up like you would have liked. God sent all of his children to imperfect parents. And he knew what he was doing. Trust the plan. You're not going to mess it all up. If your kids love to do crafts and you don't, don't let that flip you into shame. Sure, you can do thought work and change your thoughts and do hard things and do things you don't want to do and force yourself to do things with your children or spouse that you don't want to do. That's always an option. But first, I think we should embrace with gratitude the color that we currently are. What we have to offer just as we are without trying to change our color. Today, I want to recommend doing everything we can to make life easier and not harder. Sure, if you haven't felt challenged for a while and it sounds exciting, change things up, push yourself, see what you can achieve and what's available. But if life already feels hard, I challenge you not to make it harder or more complicated. See if you can make it easier, lighter, freer. I personally feel more free when I stop and breathe and think, I love me as I am, and so does God. What do I want to do next? Let go. Give it to God. When we give our pain over to God, He turns it into wisdom every time. So, what color are you? Do you like your color? What can you do with your color today? This is Christina Stead. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and a disciple of Jesus Christ. He loves you, he loves me, and he loves us. This is Just a Thought, a podcast for parents ready to change their minds and change their lives.